I mean, I personally already had my uh, certificates, which just kind of sped things along for me. But the other guardsmen, Air and Army, uh, had to take classes and get certified and then have briefs on you can't act Army with these kids. You can't speak the same way you would with another soldier with these kids. You can't treat them the same way. You have to be careful with corrective actions. <laughs> so you can't uh, yeah don't militarize the class I think at one point including teachers absent for testing professional leave and illness we had up to 30 out several days and that's that's a third of our our staff our teaching staff that's incredibly difficult to do anything with I'm not gonna lie I was kind of nervous because like you know a man in a uniform, but um, it was it was cool. He helped me, so yeah. The presence of somebody in their uniform can sometimes be scary, and there is that power shift or that power dynamic between you know that student and teacher. We're citizen soldiers, you know. We s serve our community, and this is another way for us to help serve our community with our backgrounds and education to be able to help with that shortage and make it a little bit easier on our full-time uh, substitutes and teachers that are currently in the different districts. Nightwing rested his head for a moment.